Hey everybody, Carolina Gun Guy here. We're back out at the range today and we're continuing our series on 12 gauge ammo from Ballistic Machinist. Huge thank you to Tim from Ballistic Machinist for sending these rounds out to the channel for testing. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the steel dumbbell slug inside of a 12 gauge round. So per the package, the projectile weighs 505 grains. Let me go ahead and see what this one here weighs. I have a projectile by itself and put it on the scale here and it comes in at 493. So about 10, 12 grains under the, the weight per the package, but I'm sure there's some kind of variation, some kind of variance. 505 is probably about the average, but let's take a look at this projectile up close so you can see what you're getting. It's a, well, 500 grains is about 0 0.87, 0 0.9 ounces, I think. So you're looking at about almost a one ounce slug and you have these four O-rings all around so that they can steady the slug as they come out of the cartridge. Here is the projectile and a cartridge with one inside. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up and see how this does going through various mediums. Okay, we are going to start with a water test. I have eight milk jugs full of water right here. I don't know if they will stop this. I think that they will slow it down enough to where I can find it. It may actually stop, I don't know. Let's find out together. I see water leaking from the last one, so I know that it went through all of them. Where, oh my goodness. The projectile is stuck right in there on the eighth one. Let me go ahead and empty this jug of water and I'll show it to you. Come on, come on. There we go. So you can see the O-rings, actually one stayed on on either side. But other than that, there is like no damage to this, which it is water, but you go through water fast enough and you can do a lot of deformation but these are completely undamaged. That's fun. Let's find something else to shoot. Now, the last thing you wanna do at any range, public or private, is leave a mess. Make sure you clean up your milk jugs when you're done shooting them. So the next thing I'm gonna shoot with this is play sand. It is all natural play sand because that's how we do things on this channel, all natural, non-GMO, organic play sand. Now, I have already shot it with a different round for another video, so I have some duct tape on it, and we're gonna go ahead and shoot it with this round, though, and see if it gets stopped in the first, second, or third bag, or goes all the way through. I predict the first bag will stop it. So we have the entry hole there. Let's find out if it went through. And I don't think it did. This is where I covered up another round that I shot. And I don't see any other exit holes here. So I think that first one, that round got stuck in here. Let's see if I can dig around and find it a little bit. I don't feel it immediately, but let me see if I can get it out. So I had to dig around a bit, but I did find it. Here is the <laughs> here is the slug, the O-ring. You can see one of the O-rings broke off. One is still on there, but that is it. It is not deformed at all, other than being a little worse for wear on the O-rings. This thing held up just fine. Now the last thing I'm going to shoot with this is some AR-500 Level Three steel armor. I saved it for last in case it ricochets and kills me you'll at least have all the footage. <laughs> no, but seriously, I don't wanna die, so I'm gonna be shooting it at an angle. Obviously, I've shot this before. It's got some 50 BMG holes through it. I do not expect this to go through, but I wanna see if I can capture it on slow motion, see how it reacts when it hits it. Oh man, in real time, I thought I missed it because I didn't see the plate move that much. But then I saw the sparks and I was like, no, I must have hit it. You can see the spot it hit right there. That was pretty cool. The slow motion doesn't really tell us. I couldn't find where the projectile went, but it was pretty cool with all those sparks. 
So I ended up shooting three of them and I have two left. Let me know what you think I should shoot in future videos. That's it from me guys, thanks for watching. Again, a huge thank you to Tim at Ballistic Machinist for sending the ammo out to the channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked anything you saw in the video, and I'll see you next time. Take care, and God bless.